Good morning traders. Here's my recap for the day. So I'm very excited to trade back live again because as you may know that last week was my first live trading week and it was green for me. I posted a few recaps as well. But this week I was struck with huge CMEC commissions. That's why majority of my trades this week were in my same account. I only made a couple of tickets buy and sell or sell and buy in the morning in my live account just to check if CMEC fixed the issue or not. But thankfully they fixed the issue yesterday. So I'm back live trading starting today. Coming to my trades, my first trade was on AMRN. So AMRN gapped down on the daily, but I saw that during the last four or five minutes in the pre-market, it was getting bought back up. And at the market open, it squeezed up with two huge one minute candlestick with huge volume. So I decided to go along with the stop loss below the 50 SMA on the one minute chart and I got stopped out. So this was a small loss for me and it was a hard stop as well. So that's the importance of managing your risk and getting stopped out if the trade is not working in your favor. Because if you let it run against you and you get stopped out here, so you will be in a bad psychological state. And if you see it getting bounced back again, you will be in a worse psychological state because your move worked apparently, but it worked without you in that move. So that's why you need to get stopped out. You need to set your stop loss below before getting into a trade. My second trade was on MU. So I was kind of done for the day after MU. So MU during my pre-market analysis, I saw that MU gapped up for the last two days and I was kind of short biased on MU because we had this huge daily resistance at 45.28 and I was expecting a pullback from MU. I saw that MU squeezed up for the first two minutes. I was thinking of going long, but because of this 50 uh, SMA on the one minute chart, I decided to wait and thankfully I did. So as soon as at the close of this five minute candlestick, um, I was thinking of going short here, but again, the risk is too bad. So I waited for a pullback. As soon as I saw this huge five minute rejection, I went short here just below VWAP with a stop loss above VWAP. And I got two to one here, three to one here, five to one here. And then I saw that the previous day close was acting as a major support. That's why I got out completely. And indeed, the previous day close were acted as a major support. See, it bounced back up from previous day close thrice. My last trade was on Roku. I was kind of done for my day after this MU trade but I made a small profit on Roku. So I saw that Roku sold off at the, pre uh, at the market open. It bounced back up, then it failed to make a new five minute high. I decided to go and it was holding this VWAP. So I decided at this last one or two one minute candlestick at the close of this, this candlestick, I decided to go short here because it failed to close above VWAP four times so try to go above VWAP it failed that's why I decided to go and we also we also had these all these moving averages on the five minutes so I was kind of short biased on Roku so I decided to go short with the stop loss above the high of these candlesticks and I took a small partial out here my target was a low of the day but the only thing against me was the slope of this 200 SMA on the five minute chart so because the slope was going up, I can't expect Roku to head down to the low of the day again. But I was pretty hopeful because I saw this inverted hammer on the one minute chart. So that's a sign of bearishness. But it squeezed up and I got out with a small profit. So overall, I had a pretty good day. I made around 3% of my total account because, major, okay, because of that MU trade. So have a good weekend, guys, and keep it green. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Thanks.